don't tell us to leave Mexico. You can tell us to leave all you want. Not going anywhere. Well, I've worked. Greg worked. It was a busy day. Did you shave? No. Oh, yesterday. You're cute. Uh, we are on our way to El Barracuda, La Barracuda. Sounds like it'd be La. The Barracuda. It looks like seafood. It's a pretty far walk. It's just past Pepe. So we're going to be leave about 30 minutes before we're going to meet our amigos. We've never been before. I don't even know what they have. I think they have seafood, but their reviews look really good. Oh, really? Stumbled on a, on another event in Puerto Vallarta. We can't tell exactly what it is. It's something put on by the city. It looks like they're gonna set up for fireworks. A lot of them. Well, whatever the event is, they send in the Marines for it. So I think we're all safe. What do you say, Hill? Safe, safe. Yes, yes, safe, safe. Your Spanish is progressing. <laughs> it looks like it's Mayo Fest. Who would have knew? Running behind, we've been walking too slow, looking at Mayo Fest. We gotta pick up the pace. We gotta catch up with this guy. Walking to dinner isn't so bad today. It's not nearly as warm as it, is, it was yesterday. It's a much cooler breeze. Yesterday, I think I looked up the feels like, and it was about 93 today. I don't know what it was yesterday. So it's not too bad, but it's definitely getting warm. The actual temperature isn't that high here. Super high humidity just makes it feel sort of steamy. And the other interesting thing about here is you can't really escape the heat. In the States, you can get in your car, you can walk in a grocery store, you can walk in a restaurant anywhere and instantly be in air conditioning. But here, there's not really air conditioning anywhere. So even when you go into your own house, it's hot. So I think that's the other reason it always just feels warm is because there's really nowhere you can go that has AC immediately. And let us be clear. Sound a little bit like Obama there. Uh, let me be clear. We are not talking about the, the temperature, or the weather, or the climate here in Puerto Vallarta as, as complaining about the heat, rather just kind of let you guys know what it's like during low season here. If you're thinking of moving here, uh, definitely take the weather in, into consideration. A lot of people move here only for high season because the weather's much better. If you want lower rent prices, and if you can endure some of the heat, the low season's really not that bad. But there's way less people here, so it really feels like you have the whole city to yourself. My biggest tip for being in Puerto Vallarta during low season is to carry a sweat towel. I'm not really much of a sweater, but during the summertime, you've gotta have some kind of rag or something to be able to wipe your forehead, wipe the sweat off you. You're just gonna get nasty. My tip would be to buy lots and lots of soap because in our house, it was a three shower per day situation. So six showers in our house every day. Now, it's time for Hillary to give her biggest word of art a tip. My biggest tip is look at my nice outfit and <laughs> my red lips. Two dollar sunglasses. Ow. Don't do it because you become tequila cab restaurant mag. Boat cruises, whenever, zip lining. Whenever we are dressed, even remotely decently nice, we are just asked for so many more opportunities. We're just <laughs> so many more opportunities. <laughs> they so just present themselves. In order to like fit in more, just dress casual and normal um, and nothing flashy because we are prime targets right now. Yes. We're like the rightiest clothes you can find. You're going to get a lot less opportunities. We'll just put it that way. Well, it's 6.58 and we have made it to El Baracura. Made it home from dinner. We went to La Bar or El Barracuda with our friends. Sorry we couldn't show you guys. We wanted to enjoy dinner with our friends. So sorry you couldn't tag along this time. Hillary's gonna tell you all about it. Everybody besides me got ribs and barbecue ribs with homemade barbecue sauce, and they looked really, really good. Uh, I think they were 188 pesos, so around 10 or 11 dollars. I got vegetarian tacos, and it had cauliflower and carrots and all sorts of vegetables with pecans and a taco. 
They were pretty good. That was about 160 pesos. The place, the location of this place is great. They have live music. I would say it's a little bit more expensive, but for the great service, great location, great setting, I think it was well worth it. For us, this is a little bit on the higher end of the price range. Don't judge our price range, okay? We're young. But I think we like to eat really cheap, and to us, a place is impressive if it is really cheap and also really good. So it's almost like less impressive the more expensive it is, even if it's the same amount of good. Does that make sense? So to cap off our discussion of the heat and weather in PV, more specifically low season, I think if you are wanting a bargain, low season is a great time to go come to Puerto Varada. Flights are typically going to be a little bit cheaper. Um, you can probably find hotel hotel deals. Restaurants and everything will be about the same. Some restaurants will be closed during maybe like August and September during low season, but there's still plenty of, of good ones are, are still available here in Puerto Varada, obviously. Yeah, so we're big low season fans. Bring lots of hair ties so you can put your hair up. Yeah. If you're yeah. coming on vacation though, you won't even really, really think anything about it. You're coming from somewhere that's probably really hot as well, and so you're just going somewhere else that's really hot and it has a beach. And you want the sun and you want a tan and you want a corona. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, but so we know we're definitely very blessed. Lucky enough to be half sitting here where there's a pool, there's a beach. So we're definitely very, very fortunate. Pretty soon, two fortunate people are gonna win a $200 gift card to Southwest Airlines. That'll put you well on your way to coming to visit us. So there's only a few days left. The winner will be announced on Monday. So don't forget to nominate a friend and sign up for yourself. Just a few days left. So spread the word. With that said, we're going to call it a night and leave you guys here. So subscribe to this channel. Click the bell. That way you get notified every time we upload a new video. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, there's a cruise ship leaving. It really yeah. is leaving. I didn't believe Hillary, but it is leaving. I'll see if we can show you guys. All right, this little light. Okay. It's not about you right now, Hillary. Sorry. That is a cruise ship. Good night.